Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today we're going to make some corner tucks. And I know everybody can make corner tucks, but what we're going to use is scrap pieces of old envelopes. If you don't have old envelopes, then just use some scrap pieces of any kind of envelope that you might have. But I usually have some of these little pieces left over when I do a project because I use part of the envelope. So we're going to take these and we're going to make some corner tucks out of them. Now if all you've got is the large ones, then just use that, cut you a piece, and we'll go from there. I'll show you how to do these too. But first, we are going to use this. And all I'm going to do first is I'm going to glue this top part right here together. I'm just going to put a little glue right at the top edge and glue that down. like that and then I want to put it in and you can decide which way you want to cut it you know if you want to an angle this way or if you want to angle this way it really doesn't matter you could really make two of them out of this so let's go ahead and I'm just going to put my point and my point on here and cut so see I have one here now this one you would have to glue together this side but that's okay we have one there and we have one here now you can leave this open and have a double tuck or you can close that up to make it a little bit thicker I'll probably leave it open for right now on this one I think I'll close it up and just glue all this together it doesn't matter either way you can do it That one's closed and this one's not. So let's go ahead and cover these with some paper. And I'm just going to grab some of my scrap paper over here. Some that you guys have been seeing me use for a while, but I love it. So I'm going to grab some of this paper and use this. This is Kara Brandon's paper and I'll link her store below. Now I think this would go in the corner like that. So I want to make sure that I put my paper on like this so that this will be kind of upright. You could put it on that way, but your paper's going to be crooked when you put it on your in your journal. So let's just see. Um, I think I'll put it that way. Now you can leave enough to wrap around if you want, or you can cut it off right at the edge. Doesn't, doesn't matter either way. Oops. It does matter if you put glue on it or if you put glue on your desk, though, that's for sure. Okay, we're just going to glue it down like that. And then we'll cut around it. Now, probably, I'm just going to cut at the edge on this and not wrap around, but if you want to wrap around, you can. Just leave a little bit of your paper there. still got my sticky scissors as you can see I just hadn't had time to do anything with them yet uh, I think actually this little piece right here on the bottom I'm just gonna wrap it around it's just a little tiny piece and it's I can just put some glue on there and fold it back on the back side so there is our corner tuck and like I said you can use both of them or you can just glue this together it doesn't matter which you do they both will look pretty and I like that as it is I don't know if I would even want to cover any part of it but we may put a little bit of a decoration on here let's see see what we have laying over here see my problem is I don't want to cover a lot of that up so we may just go with a little label these are the Tim Holtz number labels and we do have more of these in now. I know they had sold out really quick. But I think we got more in, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. That will work there. And then I'm going to take just a couple of pieces of something. I don't know what yet. I'm just going to look through here. I think we'll take one of our butterflies and put on there.
And these are the little, they're like acetate butterflies. And you don't have to trim these close. I just trim them a little bit. You don't have to trim them close because this acetate doesn't really show anyway on your project. I just cut a little bit of the excess off, as you can see. And then we'll put this down. Bring that down there and let's see. Do we, what else do we want on there? Do we want anything? What about a little stamp right here? Grab some of these stamps out. These are the ones that I got. I think I showed them in a video not too long ago from a sweet friend of mine that has a little blue in it maybe. Oh, that one's cute. Maybe I don't want blue. Maybe I'll put that. These are Canadian stamps. So maybe we'll use one of those. And I know she's probably cringing because I just mixed the stamps up. But I, I'll use all of them in d different ways. So it doesn't hurt for me to mix them up because I'm going to use them anyway. She had them separated so nice. And I do have a place for all of my stamps. I just don't. I have that book out right this minute. I have a little ephemera book that I put my stamps in. I just haven't had time to get all of these in there. She sent me quite a few, so I may have to make a complete new ephemera journal just to put my stamps in. And I'm going to let that hang over just a tiny bit, like that. And I'm just going to wrap it to the inside. You could trim it off if you wanted to. I'm just going to fold it to the inside like that. Put a little bit of ink on that. And I think that's going to do for that corner. Now I'll show you how I would put this in a journal. Let's just say this is the one we wanted to put it in, which it's not, but you could put it in the corner like this. You have your pocket. Um, let's just say like that. That would be pretty to put it in there. And if you wanted to, double pockets. And then we'll make one for this side. Because see, if you turn this one this way, well, you could turn it that way. But we'll make one for the other side. Just so that we can have all of that writing and everything the right way up. So let's just go ahead and cover this. And I'm thinking I might just cover it with this piece right here. I'll just use another piece of that. I'm going to pull my little mat over here. Keeps me from getting the glue all over my desk. And this is just a partial piece of the mat that we sell. Uh, somebody asked the other day when they saw me using this, they said, is that as big as those mats are? And I said, no, 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 no. This is just a piece of one because... I actually cut this one a long, long time ago, and so I decided I would just use it as a piece, and that way I can just leave it on my desk because it's not very big, and then I can just glue on it, slide it over and glue on it when I need it. But no, I have my big one in my drawer. When I need to, I drag it out. All right. Isn't that pretty? See, I don't think that one needs anything. Not anything. If you cover it with a really, really pretty paper, then that's all that you need. Yeah, I think that's good right there. I'm not going to put anything on that. I'm not going to cover it at all. Okay, we'll just use this. And we'll cut it, since some of you may just have a whole envelope. And this is just junk mail envelopes. And you can make these as big or as small as you want. I'm just going to cut it right there, right at the edge of my window. And then I go ahead and glue this part together. And I think on this one, I'll just go ahead and glue all of it together. And that way... It'll be a little bit stronger. So now we've got all that glued together and I'm just going to slice it down through there. And you can whip up a lot of these in just a short period of time. 
and then you've got all those little corner tuck pockets. So there's two more like that. Now, since we just covered two like that, I'm going to lay that aside and I'll show you what I would do with this one that has the window in it. So let's decide. I think I'm just going to cut it at an angle right there. Every now and then I'll have one left that has the window in it. And you can still use that. Okay, we're going to slice it like that. That little piece I will throw away. And see, this is still going to be a corner tuck, but it's just going to have a little bit more right here. Now, I'm going to put some kind of pretty paper down in there, something pretty that's going to show. Let's just see what we can come up with right here. What if we use this? Let's see what that would look like. I like that. Have that little flower in there. So I'm going to tuck it in and then I'm just going to trim this off. And do it the lazy man's way. So now we have that in there. I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. So I'm just going to put my glue on the back. And I'm, I'm gluing the whole thing together. So we'll come back and we'll put glue up here too. And a little bit down through there. All right, that way we have all of that glued together. Now let's cover this with some paper. I don't, want, I don't think I want to use that. I want to use something different that's going to make this stand out. So let's see if we used that. Okay, I think I'm going to use some of this. And here I go again using some of this paper that you guys have been seeing me use lately. This is from Lynn Art Studio. She has some beautiful paper. All right, I think that's what we're going to do right there. So I'm going to put this, first off, I'm going to tear this end off. Yeah, my, my problem is I want to go and order more of her paper, even though I have a ton of it already and I don't have half of it used, I want to go order more. And I'm thinking, Edith, you need to use what you have first. I've got ideas for all of it, but I just haven't got everything made yet. I'm trying to see if I want to go all the way around with that or if I want to use something else. I keep coming back to that, but I don't want to use that because it, I want this to stand out. And if I use that, that's not going to stand out. maybe just a little piece of this yeah let's do that I'm just gonna cut this off real quick All right, I'm gonna grab my other scissors real quick because those black ones are so sticky right now they're not wanting to cut good these are our um, arthritis spring scissors love these things I've got them in the large and the small and I love them. I usually use them all the time, but right now I've been using those black ones to cut a lot of really, really thick, thick paper that I didn't want to cut with my little ones. But they will cut through quite a bit, so you don't have to use the bigger ones. You can use those. Let's just do that right there. I just want to break it up a little bit and I like to make sure that both ends are a little bit jagged not just straight I think it makes it look better and I'm yes I know I'm putting this upside down but I want that little torn edge on the inside and I don't think it really matters just a little bitty piece okay then let's see we could probably put that piece on that end, but I, it's just white, so I don't want that. Let's just do this little piece right here, and I'm just going to tear it out. These, like this, take just a little bit longer, but they're really pretty. Take a little longer for you to do your paper piecing, but they make some really pretty, have some really pretty results. 
Yeah, these scissors help my wrist and my hands a lot. I should use them all the time, but you know me. I grab whatever's over there. That's cute. Now, let's see. We want to put a little something on there. And I know I want a label. I hope we have more of these labels because I have just about used all of these. I will be grabbing more. Let's see. Whoops. Just threw one in the floor. We don't need to do that. That one will work right there. Oh, maybe this one. The one that I flipped out. Yeah, I think I like that one better. It's a little bit bolder. Help me remember to get that one up, up out of the floor so that my vacuum cleaner won't get it. I don't want to waste any of these. <laughs> Let's see, do I want it there or up here? Oh, I think I want it up there, actually. Yeah, I like it there. Now let's see if we have a little piece of something else that we could put on here. Okay, these are some little pieces that one of you guys cut and sent to me. These are, that's a die cut. And I'm thinking about putting that right across there on that end. I like that. And I don't know what die cut these are. This may be one of the Tim Holtz. Like that. And then we'll just snip this little beauty part down here off. There we go. Cute. I love that. So there is another one. And it would go in the corner the same way. Let's grab a journal here. That's what I'm working on. And actually this would go pretty in that journal. So see it'll go there. Let me glue this piece down right here. And I'm going to go ahead and clip that tip off. Because I got a feeling that tip would get messed up anyway so we'll just clip it off so it would go right here in the corner nice tuck like a page like this would be pretty look at that I love that and then you can tuck let me find something that you can tuck in there let's just say you could tuck that in there make a pretty tag and tuck it in there See, I, I love making these. These are so easy. All right, we've got some for, let's see, this one would be the left side of the page. This would be the right side of the page, left side of the page. We can do one for the right side. And we can also use this, if I'm not mistaken. Let's try using one of these. See what we come up with. This may be something completely different. And it may not turn out to be one that we can use, but I think it'll work. Okay, well, this is going to be a very, very large one. And this little piece right here, let's see. Yeah, I can, I can glue that back together. Okay, let's glue it. And I'm just going to glue it all. And then I'm going to trim it. I know I should wait for my glue to dry before I trim, but... You guys know me. You know me by now. All right. Um, let's see. Let me think. If we do it this way. Okay. Let's make one for this side. And that's going to be a nice tall one. Let's grab a page here. Just for instance. So we would put that there, and it's going to be a nice, tall tuck all the way up. Isn't that pretty? Let me trim that right there a little bit. Now what I will do with this is definitely glue it together, because it is a tall tuck, so it needs to be pretty sturdy. So I'll glue that together. And then we'll find some paper to put on this. Now I'm liking that any of the pink paper because it can go in that journal that I'm working on now. So let's see what else we have that might go. Sorry, I know I was turned away from the camera. 
see what else we have that might go with that the uh, rose journal and thank you for the person who has already purchased the rose journal um, they have already sent me a message asking could they purchase that and I said of course you can all right no not that one Kara or anybody if I ever say something wrong <laughs> about this is yours or this is somebody else's please let me know um, once I show them I kind of put them all in a little category by themselves. And sometimes I remember whose they are, and sometimes I don't. So please let me know if I ever do it wrong. I would appreciate you letting me know. Ooh, that right there will be pretty. This one is Lynn Art Designs. It's called Vintage Roses. So, and I'm thinking about this one. The yellow I love, but I'm not putting any yellow in this journal. I, I am going to make a journal that will have yellow in it, but not this one. All right, I just need to see how much that's going to take up. I don't want to do anything with my roses there. I don't think. Let's see. No. Okay. I'm looking at another page now because I actually want a rose on there, but I didn't want to have that will work right there. I didn't want to have to cut that rose on that paper in half. And this one is from Lynn Art. As I said, Lynn Art Studio. Whoops. Now I'm trying to cut a very, very thin, or tear, a very, very thin piece of paper. I've also got it on this. That makes a difference. If you've got it on any other surface and you don't hold it nice and tight, then it, it will not tear well for you. So no updates on the house as of yet. Um, I think the last time I talked to you, we did get the check from the insurance company to start rebuilding. We've got our contractor scheduled for Monday, no Tuesday, Monday's Memorial Day, Tuesday. So now it's just a little bit of a waiting game. But at least we've got that much accomplished. Well, we can't use our money until June the 1st. I don't know if any of you commented on that at all. I had told you in the last video that the bank deposited it. But they said we couldn't use it till June the 1st. I, I don't really get that. I mean, if it was coming from an individual, maybe I could see. Because, you know, they would need to check and make sure that person had that kind of money. But this is from an insurance company. I mean... You know, you think insurance companies are pretty reputable, at least the one that we're using, because it's been around forever, but that's what they say, so we got to wait till June the 1st before we can access any of the money, but we've gone ahead and just ordered some things on, a, on our card, credit card, so that it can be out here when the contractor gets here and then we'll just have to turn around and pay it off or pay all of it off that we can with the insurance company money with the insurance money when it gets here or when we can access it so that's the game we're playing right now oh isn't that pretty that is pretty I like that one now you could be inking these up with any type of ink that you want I'm using Vintage Photo just because it's sitting right here on my desk. And I like the Vintage Photo with that the browns in there. But you can ink it with anything. You don't have to use this. Or not even ink at all. It doesn't matter. That's pretty. I like that. Um, we do want something else on there, don't we? I think I will go to my other labels here. These are labels from Tina, Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. And I don't think I want a big one. I think I want a smaller one. Yeah, that one will work. And they're all number labels. Oh, remember, tomorrow is our giveaway for the stamp 
set from Signet Stamps. It is a, I think, $50 value. I don't know. I, I can't remember. But it's a nice set. It's those number stamps that I used not long ago in a video. I'll show them to you in just a minute. You have to be a subscriber to win, so make sure that you subscribe. Because if you're not subscribed and we draw your name, then we can't, we have to draw another name. We can't, uh, can't give it to you. That's just some of our rules. We want to make sure that the people who win are people who watch and support us. You know, watch our channel and comment and that kind of thing. It's not trying to be ugly. It's just, it's just one of those things. I like for people to win that have been watching for a long time, not just somebody that decided, oh, they're doing a giveaway, so we're going to come in there and try to get that giveaway. I don't like that kind of thing. I don't like people who do that. And the reason I left that hanging off is because I'm going to trim that off, and I'll use that little piece elsewhere. And it just makes that look like you know, it was already in the paper, like that. So we got that. Now, let's grab a butterfly. I want, I think I want this one. And I've just got my little butterflies hanging up right there. <laughs> They're actually hanging on my little, uh, I don't know, what is that called? The thing that comes across and holds my camera and my microphone and all that. They're actually hanging there. If I keep them in front of me, I'll use them. If I store them away, I forget about them sometimes. Okay. Oh yeah, that one's gonna work. I like that. Now I use art glitter glue to put these down and I just go right on the back where the color is. I don't put it on the acetate part that's not colored. And that way it doesn't show out the front. So like that. And I feel like I need something else up here. I liked that that way, though. It fit perfectly, even though it is upside down. You know, unless somebody gets really close, they're not going to know, are they? So we're going to put it on there. Because it's already cut, and I don't want to have to cut more of it and waste it. So I'm just doing that. And that will give that top a little bit of extra strength, too since it was just regular paper. There we go. Yeah, nobody will know the difference. So there is that one. And this little piece can go back in here to be used at a later date. I did make this. I have Every time I pull this out, I have people ask me, did you make that? And if so, can you show us how to make it? If you'll go down below, just scroll down, you'll see where it says Ephemera Journal. And if you click on that, you'll see all of my Ephemera Journals that I have made. There's tutorials for every one of them. All right, guys, I think you have got the gist of how to make these. And like I said, make them any size that you want. They don't have to be small. They can be large like that, like that one, like this, or like that and use those old junk mail envelopes. That's what's fun, is using up and recycling. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and I told you I was gonna show the stamp. This is a stamp set that we're giving away. It's numbers. It's got the three numbers here together, and then it's got a thing that says number. It also has this backing to it. This goes in a three ring binder and it's really, really tough. It sticks to that. You can get these over on Signet Stamps. If you go over there, these are like $8 for these little uh, pieces. They are, um, hmm, I'm not sure what they're called, but they're really, really tough and your stamps just stick down to them so you can keep up with all your stamps. Most of the stamps that you buy from them, I think maybe all the stamps that you buy from them, I know mine came on one of those. 
so go over and check them out but again don't forget to subscribe below if you want a chance to win one of these stamps or this stamp all right we'll talk to you guys later thanks so much for watching bye bye